Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm here with a different kind of video today. It is a Pandora bracelet tour. I talked about wanting Pandora a few months ago in my favorite videos, and my birthday just happened, and I have one now. And I got ten charms for my birthday, um, so I figured I'd just go through and explain what each charm means to me, and just kind of show it off a little bit. I love watching these kinds of videos, so I hope you do too. It's cool to see. Like, what means what to different people. I apologize in, my, in advance. My nails are horrible. I plan on changing them later today. But for now, we have to deal with it a little. So this is the overview, as you can see. Okay. I'm on my phone. I'm sorry if it's shaky. Hopefully it won't be too bad. This first one is from Sam. It is the love letter. And it's cute. The front just has a little stamp, to my love. And the back says, from me. And we thought this was cute because we used to write little letters to each other all the time. I used to draw him pictures of giraffes for class. So that was that one. This one is from my friend Rudy. My recent birthday party was Mardi Gras themed. So the Fleur de Lis is very French Mardi Gras. The purple one is from my roommate. I decided to make this bracelet purple themed. Because purple is my favorite color. This is a turtle. <laughs> Turtles are obviously my favorite. I love turtles a lot. So he is the same on both sides. Let's see. So I thought he's super cute. Um, that one is a clip. It is uh, Pandora has special like ribbing if you've never seen a bracelet before. And the clips hold all the charms in place so they don't slide around. And it it's good for spacing and things like that. And it's uh, good for like the health of the bracelet. This next one is a rose. It is double-sided and looks the same on both sides. I got the rose because it reminds me of my mom. Uh, we used to sing Love is a Rose um, and a, the Bette Midler song. And she used to sing it to me to go to sleep. And she used to also draw me roses. So that's what reminded me of that. The next one is a teapot. I don't know if it's easy to see. It's a little teapot. And the teapot is from my friend Lydia, and I thought it was funny because she's British and hates tea. And also, I call my family teapots because we're all short and stout, and I just thought that was cute. Then this next one is a purple dangly, and that is from my dad. And I, this is one of the new ones, and I just think that's gorgeous. Like, that might be my favorite. And, yes, my dad got me four for my birthday. This next one is a bow. He got me that one, too. And that one is I just love bows. And recently, by recently I mean the last three, four years, I've been getting girlier. I wear a lot of bows in my hair and things like that. So that's kind of what that one is. And I just think that one's so pretty too. This next one is from Sam. It has it's a little heart-shaped lock with a key on it. The key's heart-shaped too. And I just love keys and locks. And he gets me key-themed things a lot. That one's cute. This one is a mermaid. Sam's friends keep calling him on Skype. Um, it is a mermaid, and she's really cute, too. Let's see. She has, like, little, uh, what are they called? Starfish in her hair. It's hard to tell. I'm on my phone. I said that. But I, I love to swim, and I wish I could breathe underwater so I could just stay in the water all the time. So that's what that one's about. The next one is a football. I like football. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty simple. Um, then that is another clip, and it kind of matches the other one. I don't know if you can see them both at once. It's focusing. So I wanted to get them kind of matching. At the time, though, I didn't want to, because I bought those myself, so I felt silly buying two of the same, because they were like my first charms. So I bought ones that were very similar in style. Then the next one is a Christmas tree. Can you see him? It's probably easier on the side. It's a Christmas tree, and this is actually their old Christmas tree. They just came out with a new one. This one's from my dad, too. But I like the old one better because it has the little gold star on the top. Um, yes. This next one is also from my dad. It is the Anchor. Uh, I kind of wanted this one just because how, how trendy anchors were this last year. But I thought it was fitting that it came from my dad, so... I'm justifying it that way. Then this next one, oh my goodness, I'm sorry, is 
the other purple, just to match my purple theme. Oh, focusing. I gotta stop bringing it in and out. Just to match my purple theme. Liked that one. Then, this is a camera. Um, I like scrapbooking and taking pictures. It's super cute. There's detail on both sides and the top. So I thought that represented scrapbooking pretty well. And the last one is a money bag. And this is also for my dad, but not for my birthday. And I just thought it was funny because he's very generous with me and often gives me money to spend and things like that. It takes me shopping. So I think of myself as his little money bag that he invests all his money into. So I thought that was funny. So I'm going to try to zoom out again. Hopefully it won't get too bad. So this bracelet is pretty much done. I actually have a second one that's empty right now because... Uh, I think twice a year they do a sale where if you spend $100 on charms, the bracelet's free. And that's a pretty good deal because the bracelet's full price for this one is $65. And charms can be over $100 by themselves. So it's easy to rack up free bracelets. So for my next one, I'm thinking of doing like a vacation themed. And yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. I do not expect to be getting 10 at once anytime soon probably not ever again but boy was that fun so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this different kind of video and i'll see you again soon bye